Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be re reviewing with you today how to work with projects and timesheets in Zoho Books. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as helping us to improve our video library. Here are some of the key takeaways we're going to cover today. First, the timesheet module is where you can manage projects and log the time spent on each task. Users can log time daily, weekly, monthly, or through a Chrome extension. And from the timesheet module, you can invoice customers directly and even add in other expenses when you bill them. So now let's go into Zoho Books and we can look a little bit more at um, what, this, what this looks like. So on the left side, um, you're going to go to the time tracking module. And when you click on that, you have two options, projects and timesheets. And if you click on projects, this is where you will create a project that you will then, uh, then be billing uh, hours on. So what you can do is we'll just go quickly into an existing project and you can see you can choose the billing method, the rate per hour, the budget type, and then you can get an overview and show how many billable hours you have, how many logged hours, uh, and down at the bottom who the users are that you have here. So let's go out of this. And before we start on this, I want to just uh, actually go up to the settings here on the top line. And when you go into settings, you can click on preferences and then you can go to projects and this is where you can do some customizations you can choose whether you want to round how you want to round time entries um, what the time clock is is it 24 hours is it um, how many how, you know what the maximum hours they can log are and then you can also determine if you need um, approvals and if you want uh, timesheets to be approved by a client so, um, and this is what will come up if you choose yes, and if that's the case, you won't be able to invoice until you have the approval. I'm going to cancel out of that for now. You also have the option here of field customization and creating custom buttons. But really, the client approval and the time rounding and how many hours they can log a day, that's really what's important here. But if we go back now, and if we just go... Um, back to time tracking and projects, let's start by creating a new project. And at the top right, you would say plus new project. You would give it a project name. Um, I'll just call it web demo project. You can give a description if you want. You need to select a customer that this is linked to. I'll do Black Sheep Studio. And then you get to the billing method. And this is an important decision you have to make. So as you can see, there are four different options here, and I'll show you what happens with each of these options. So let's say you choose fixed cost for project, which basically means that the project, regardless of number of hours and all of that, has a fixed cost to it. And if you do that, you would enter in the uh, cost of the project, and then you would just track, uh, everything would just go towards that. Instead, if you were to base it on project hours, you would then have a rate per hour, and you would put that rate per hour in here. Next would be based on task hours. And if you did that, the billing will be based on hourly rate of ta tasks. And if you scroll down to the taxes, you're going to get an additional, a, additional field here for rate per hour, since you need to add that in uh, to have it be based on task hours. And then finally, you have staff hours. And if it's staff hours, you would then um, have it under users. This is where you would have the rate per hour. So the rate would be per hour for specific people. And if you have different levels of people working on this project, you can have them have different rates that are being charged. So for now, let's do this based on task hours. And then you can choose whether you want to add a budget for this project so you can track. I'm going to say yes, and then you can choose the type of budget. So you have the total budget cost, uh, budget hours, hours per task, or hours per, per staff. 
I'm going to choose the hours per task here. And it says if you select this option, you can track your budget for the tasks. And then I'm going to come down and you have to add your users. So here we have one user. I can choose to add a user. And I can, um, I only have one other user in our system. So I can add them. And then they're in, in here as well to be able to log their time. And then we have the tasks. We have um, a couple of ways we can add tasks. We can add um, some, let's just call this scope. Um, the rate per hour for scoping is 20. Um, the budget hours, we're thinking it'll be 40 dollars per hour and yes we want that to be billable we can choose for it not to be billable then we can add a task that's um, we can call this uh, um, findings maybe during this time it's fifty dollars an hour uh, and here we're thinking we'll need a hundred oops a hundred hours and you can add another task as well if you want to or take it away, choose again if you want it to be billable or not. The other thing you can do is import tasks from existing projects. So if you have existing projects within your, um, your Zoho books, you can basically just copy the same tasks that you have into here without having to go through the, the process of um, adding in all of the tasks. But for now, I'm not going to do that. And then you see we have the tasks and, and uh, how much is budgeted and the rates. You could you save? And then here is an overview. And you can see here uh, that we have what the project name is, who the customer is. Then on the left, we have this is the billing method is based on task hours. The budget type is hours per task. And then the graph on the right is showing a profitability summary, billable hours, unbillable hours. And you can also show this as project hours in, as well versus a profitability summary. And then you can also show this by time frame. So you can uh, do this by this week, this month, or any custom time frame based on the timing of your project. And then you can show the logged hours. And uh, you can click on the logged hours and get a report if we had information here that would take you right to the timesheet. Oops. Let me go back in. Um, billable hours is the same thing. Unbillable hours. So this will all take you to the timesheet um, module. And you can see what you have here. We have our users. We have um, their logged hours, their build hours, their unbilled hours, and their role. And what's it, one of the things to note here is that if you look under the TMG Live Gen user, the role is staff timesheet only. So what you can do when you can go into the settings up at the top, you can go to users and roles, and then you can um, you can change you can, the the um, users and roles. You can go if you pick a user. They have there's different role options that you can have. They could be an admin, could be a staff who. Um, has access to some of the information, staff only for their assigned customers, and then timesheets. So if you only want them to go into Zoho Books to record their timing, you can do that as well. So if we uh, go back now, um, so here's the users, and here's the tasks, and the budget hours, the rate, uh, you can add in hour, you can, you can see what you have here. Um, and you can track them things here as well. You can also go into timesheet here and you can uh, see what, what the breakdown is. You can look at purchases or other expenses related to this project, sales related to this project, and comments. And one thing to note is that from the project, you can be in the project and if you wanted a log time now, there are two ways you can do it. One is you can go to timesheet, and for the project that we just created, this isn't the one, but we can go into this one, and we can then go in, actually, I'm going to cancel out of this, 
I'm going to go into log time. This is just a, a summary of all the timesheets, but I'm going to go into log time here. Today is March 5th, web demo project, uh, what it tasks, we're still in scoping. I spent, um, let's say I spent four hours on this. Yes, it's billable. I can add time. If I am recording this for other people, I can decide which user I want it to be. And I, can, I have two options here, I, and I can start save. Um, and one thing also to note is uh, is that you can also start a timer. Instead of recording, just putting the time in, you can start a timer instead as you're starting the task, and that way you can just stop the timer when you're done. And what you can see here is that if we have the timer, it's on this bottom left corner, you have where it's tracking the time, and whenever you're done, even you don't have to go back into the timesheet you can just click stop from there. To go back into logging time, again, you can start the timer, all of that. The other way you can log time is through a weekly log if you want to do this uh, once, once a week. You can go to this weekly log, you can select at the top what week it is, and you can always go to the calendar and figure out um, a different options that you want. And then for each task, you can then uh, enter in the hours, and then they'll be totals here. So if I put three here, uh, four here, seven here, and then you can see we've done 18 hours, four of them in, in the task of data migration, four in the task of customization, and 11 in the, in the task of scope. We can save this. And it's been it's been logged. And so then if we go back to the projects now that we've done this, we can go back here and now um, because we're on this week, we've entered in some time, you can see what we have here. And what you'll notice is that you have unbilled hours here. And if you, what's you know if you decide you want to uh, build a customer, you can go to drop down this drop down of new transaction. You can create an estimate, an invoice expenses, etc. So I'm going to create an invoice from here. So we're going to bill up to, we can maybe we do it in advance, so I'll do it through the end of the week. And then you have some options. You can um, include all time entries associated with the project, or uh, unbilled expenses associated, or uh, bills associated. So first I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to do the drop down. You can have a single line per project, you can show all timesheet entries individually, you can group by tasks, or you can group by tasks and users. And what I'm going to do here, because we're billing by tasks, I'm going to do it by group by tasks. And then you can decide which heading, oops, I'm going to do task name for that. And then if you wanted to show an item in the description, probably the task name makes sense to have. And then if you remember um, when we were choosing to include the all time entries, there was also options for unbilled expenses and any bills. So if we want this to be a more complete invoice for the customer, we can click on these as well. I'll just do the unbilled expenses to add. And then you come to, you move into the invoice module and you have your invoice here and you can see the item detail for the scoping, we, uh, that's where we had some time. And if we had other items, we would be able to click those in. We can add them, et cetera, and we have an invoice. So, But if we go back to time tracking and projects, I'm going to leave this page. I also wanted to show you that um, now that we have some information in here, you can then see here at the bottom under the tasks, since we were managing this by tasks, and we have um, different hours by tasks, and we can see what those rates are. And we can see that in the scoping, we've done logged 11 hours. We have a budget of 40 hours, and Zoho Books is going to show you where you are relative to your budget. You also have the option if you wanted to somehow mark this inactive, you can do that as well. Going back to the new transaction, we went through this already. You can attach files here. And then under more, you can define your invoice preferences, group 
by task. This was options that we had before. Um, these were the invoice options we had before. If you go back to more, you can also mark the, the project is inactive. You can clone it if there's a lot of aspects of it you want to use for another project. You can add a task, add a user, or delete. So just to go in one more time to show you in the timesheet logging time, um, like I said, you can do the log time real time or you can do it weekly. You can also do it uh, monthly and the way you would do that is to go to the calendar view and then you can always hover over a date and choose new entry and this also is a way that you can see by by um, by week what you um, what your total time is and I'll add something here just so we can see what happens here and now you can see we have two hours for uh, findings in on March 2nd and this is another way that you can log your time okay so now let's go back to what our takeaways were and as I showed you the timesheet module is where you can manage projects and log time spent on each task. Users can log time weekly, daily, monthly, or through a Chrome extension. And as you saw, you can invoice customers directly from the timesheet module. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions on Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks for watching.